Hey guys, today we have a review on the giant Hishu 3x3. This cube is for sale on most cube stores for $40 and on the cubicle.us for $38. That is where I bought it. Okay, first let's just talk about what you really came here to see about this cube is the size. Obviously, I'm doing this review on the floor because it is way too big to do it on my desk where I usually record my videos. This cube is about 18 centimeters long, if you can see, about 18 centimeters long, and in inches, it seems to be about 7 inches, it's almost exactly 7 inches, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'll just do a couple size comparisons. Here is a regular 3x3. Three three. The 3x3s three are ex like a little bit smaller than each cubie, if I can get a straight on angle there. Here's a regular size 4x4, four four. it's a Yuxin. This more um, fully fills the uh, sp um, spot here. Then we have a 10x10 10 10 and an 11x11, 11 11, which are completely dwarfed by this massive cube here. I'll just do a size comparison with the 10x10. 10 10. It doesn't even reach two cubies on this puzzle. And then another other big cube that we have always grown to love is the foot cube, which again is not even two cubies on this massive puzzle. Now I'm going to show you some other things about the puzzle. Okay, I just got done putting in a checkerboard pattern so we can take a look at the sticker shades or lack of sticker shades considering that this puzzle is stickerless. So we'll just look at the shades on it. Um, the yellow is really nice. I really like the white and the yellow contrast. The uh, red and the orange contrast is also really, really good. The Green and blue is pretty good. The blue is a little bit dark. It's kind of like a Cyclone Boys 2x2. Two two. Um, compared to like a regular 2x2, two two, say I'm like, or a regular uh, blue on like my Rubik's brand, it's kind of dark. But these um, shades are very nice and make the puzzle look absolutely great. Now you're probably wondering how this puzzle moves. Well, I'm here to tell you it's actually pretty good. So we're just going to do some turns, getting it back into um, regular. Um, so I'm going to back this up okay it's actually turns really nicely it's very smooth it's pretty loud because it's really clunky because it's big and this okay so let's just check out some corner cutting and stuff okay let's see if we can do that much that's about as far as it's gonna go so about a half a cubie for regular corner cutting and then reverse, I'm guessing it's probably going to do a fourth. Maybe less, a little bit, like, that's about a fourth right there, so like a little bit less. Uh, it's, it's kind of iffy on the corner cutting there, but the, um, it is very, very smooth. It turns actually really nice. I'm going to just try to do something, a T-perm here if I can. It's just, the problem is it's just so hard to move. Okay, uh, that's not a T-perm, but, um. Oh, it's really hard to just grip. And, um, you guys probably are wondering if it's heavy or not. So, let's just take a look at the mechanism. Okay, that's really easy to just check out the mechanism. It's pretty easy to take a piece out. So, all the pieces are completely hollow. You can stick your finger in there completely. Um, we're just going to look at the edge piece. It doesn't really have any anti-popping mechanism, but it doesn't pop anyways. It has pretty good grooves right here, and uh, it's more modern than a Rubik's brand. So, yeah, it's an okay mechanism. Take a look at one of the corners. Um, just a regular corner stock with the uh, kind of sharp tips. Now, um, take a look at the core and center piece in there. The core is absolutely massive I can put my whole hand around it and the opening inside of there is really big the centerpiece doesn't really have anything special to it and these center caps are removable if I can no I, don't, I need a screwdriver to remove them but you can adjust the tensions on this puzzle now we're just gonna take a look at something kind of funny so obviously you can put a regular 3x3 in there no problem it fits in there really easily and it's very loose how about a 4x4 that that ought to work in there right so let's just put a 4x4 inside here. That works. Okay, how about a 5x5? That works too. 
What about a six by six? I'm starting to stretch it a little bit there, but a six by six does fit in there, kind of surprisingly. That just proves how massive this puzzle is. I mean, look at this edge piece compared to the three by three. It's ridiculously big. Um, uh, it's just a massive puzzle. I mean, you could probably fit like money inside of these uh, inside of these edge pieces. It's really hilarious. Obviously, this puzzle isn't perfect. What are the flaws of this puzzle? Okay, well, the first flaw is that these corners are split like this. So therefore, when you're doing turns, it will lock up. I'm just gonna try to do something, a little bit of an algorithm. And listen for the clicks of the corners. Like right here, it won't turn this way because it's stuck in one of the corners. Now listen for it. All right, never mind, it got past it. There, that click right there, that's due to a corner. And the muscles on my arms are like showing because it's like hard to move this thing. Sometimes it locks up and it's just extremely hard to move, but it's really fun. Okay, guys, you knew it was going to come to this, but I have to do a solve on it. So I'm literally going to be inside of the camera. Um, if you were wondering what this is over here, that's for another video. Um, you could probably guess, but it's kind of very off topic for um, cubing, but let's just do a solve on this. Okay. Oh yeah, and I'm going to be using beginner's method, by the way, because I don't know the algorithms by, like, I know them by muscle memory now, so. Hopefully under two minutes I can get, under a minute 30, probably, actually, so I can make it. One thirty nine. That's okay for that. Um, that was kind of funny. Um, I hope you guys could see that okay the whole time. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that review on that this puzzle. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Um, I was really wanting to make this video for a really long time. It's a really good puzzle. The price tag's a little high, but anyways, I still think you should get it. It's so uh, it's such a big um step up from the foot cube if you have that. This one you can actually hold with your hand. This one you actually can't. So, yeah, this is an amazing puzzle. Definitely get it. Turns great. It's really fun. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.